Welcome back to Rewind with B. Schwitty because carry on my wayward son. Today is an excellent Friday because, well, I've been convinced to revisit boxed wine. Yes, um, but I didn't go and buy myself a giant bag of wine. I got one of the smaller things. They have these smaller items, which you can, I think it's about three glasses. It's a 500 milliliter little squeeze box, essentially, that you can buy. And I was told that uh, black box premium wines is better than, say, the Franzia we had. Um, it is 50 gold medals, um, 29 best buys from wine enthusiasts since 2004. This is Cab Sauv from Chile, 2016. Uh, rich aromas of dark fruit, complemented by a deep, lush body. The finish is soft and long with lingering notes of berry. Hmm. And you can get this in a bigger size, but since... I didn't want to waste a lot of money on, well, boxed wine. I thought I would just have a little bit. Yeah, that's that's what you want from a wine. All right, so we'll have to remember that it is Chilean Cab Sauv. Cheers. Right off the bat, I would say it's definitely better than... <laughs> oh. It is instantly better than the Franzia. Because I drink this and I don't want to vomit. No offense, Franzia. And it's slightly better than the Sutter Home wine that I had. I do not know where the rich aromas of dark fruits complemented by a deep lush body is. All I smell is alcohol. Maybe a little bit of plum. Oh, apparently you're supposed to drink it out of the box because it says it goes where glass can't. Also, this is easier on the environment than in a glass. Maybe I'm doing this wrong. Maybe I need to evaluate it out of the box. Certainly smells better. This smells like wine though. It tastes better too, it's strange. And supposedly, I should be able to do that because it seals. Uh, there's a little greenness, which I guess it's Cab Sauv. It's from Chile. It is honestly reminiscent of the Cab Sauv that I had from Chile before. There's a slight bit of sweetness on the back end. Um, probably maybe a, a percentage point worth of sugar. Let's see. 13% alcohol by volume. For the price. And this is like, what, five bucks? For the price, for the value, for the, the easiness of this carton I'm going to give it a pass I I would drink this with many many caveats but I would drink this um, this is not my first choice this is pretty close to my last choice 
But if I had a picnic and I didn't want to bring a bottle and a corkscrew and I wanted to drink wine on said picnic and I wanted a little bit of Cab Sauv, And I wanted something that almost resembles wine. I think I'll go with this. That genuinely surprises me. I was prepared to not like this. Uh, I still don't like this. But objectively, it is not the worst cab I've ever tasted. And on that bombshell... Thanks for, that's that's been another week of Rewind. Thank you for watching this week. Sorry, it's been kind of shorter episodes, but uh, time, I'm trying to enjoy the, the, the summer while I can. This harvest is right around the corner. So check back with us next week and we'll be doing the usual, something educational on Monday, something fun on Wednesday and Fridays. We'll do some sort of review, maybe a vlog, maybe even an interview, but probably a review. So, have a great weekend, everyone. Thank you for watching Rewind. My name is B. Schwitty, and I will catch you next time.